Welcome back to Polybridge, a puzzle game where I gotta build a bridge that gets this truck over to this flag across this river. And usually, I have to anchor the bridge to some sort of static joint on the side, but the static joints are down here, and they're yellow. Does that mean they move? Yes, they do. I have to build a bridge that can withstand movement, and I don't have springs to soften the blow, so I think I just gotta suck it up and build a bridge that can withstand moving. Out of curiosity, how does this bridge move and can I still drive on it? Oh, I can drive on it. It's just when it goes down, that's probably not a big deal. Honestly, that wasn't half bad. What if I just make two of them? There we go. Easy peasy. So one goes up, the other goes down. Will they connect in time and let my truck come across? Or will they absolutely destroy each other? Oh, yeah, uh, that's pretty bad. All right, so I've learned a couple things. First is that the left bridge has to be angled up. The second is that the right bridge has to be angled down. Is Mayfair better? But I think it's gonna take a little bit of tweaking here. Good news is the bridge is very sturdy. It's just all about lining it up, and that was kind of close. Don't really like that disconnecting there, though. Hate to see it. New idea. Make the right side bridge just angled down all the way. Another attempt. I mean, it is down there. Will it actually if you come out of the water? It will, and it does. Can it actually make it up to its goal now? Come on. Oh, it's hanging out. It's hanging out. It's just waiting to reach the dock and... Deliver, you scum! Come on, drive up in the back! Oh, let's go! Ooh, the delay. I think I broke something, though. You know what? Just keep reinforcing until it stops breaking. I got money, therefore I will spend it on steel. Because, yeah, I figured I'm not going to optimize every level, at least not right now. I want to make sure I can actually do them, because that's probably my overall favorite part of Polybridge games, just solving their unique puzzles and... It just, <laughs> the fact that it's this close to not making it, but still making it, it brightens my day. These are cool puzzles. What's this one about? It's called Hop, Skip, and Jump. So, oh, I see. There's like jagged rocks, so that's gonna mess with the jumps. Well, it does make it down to this platform, so that's a start. I figure if I just add a single road here and just kind of wedge the joint. Oh, I can't put it in the rocks, but I can balance it on the ground. And let's just see if this stands. Right, why would that stand? This needs to be rigid, duh. Yeah, because it hits that road and then keeps going. And I want to use as few roads as possible, right? Well, no, because it has to actually make this jump, build up speed, and avoid this thing. Oh, that's just to get rid of any bridge I have built there. Oh, I see. Wouldn't it be better then to start with a nice quality ramp? Just let him build speed via gravity and see where he lands. Pretty close. If I wanted to, I could actually start the road here. Curve it down so it just barely hits that star. And then launch it up. But I can't launch it too high because it has to land below the pier here. And this seems like I'll have a tough time balancing, so I'll just use steel. I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of pressure on it. Okay, is this anywhere close? No, I don't like that angle. Though, I think this has to jump more out because it doesn't really build up speed that well. Since its acceleration is slow, how about I use a little bit of downhill to help build up acceleration and see where it lands. So I raise the road a little bit higher. Should give it very nice speed. Okay. I mean, it lands right on the star. Although I want to rotate forward like a lot more and I don't know what that's going to take. This try for sure, just to get an idea of the car. Okay, that's got to be the ideal angle because it looks like it connects about here. Now this is going to be brutal on the road, so I'll definitely reinforce it. Then introduce in some ground supports. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Perfect landing. It just plowed through the road. Does the angle change that drastic? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This may necessitate another road to help smooth things out. Maybe part of it is that it's just not connected to another static joint. Maybe adding one more static joint connection could just help ground it out. I don't know, but at least that got somewhere before tearing itself to smithereens. Front wheel's good. Back wheel's good. Oh! Wait, it's just good now. So I did do a little thing. I connected this base to the static joint over here. I'm shocked that made such a difference. Now I just need to tweak the actual ramp part. I tweaked around the bridge and added an extra road. Let's see if it gets there just short and it snaps. 
That's two terrible problems. I believe I can first add a second road, just as long as it's short enough to avoid the falling block. This probably won't help with the structural integrity. In fact, it'll probably make the road more likely to snap, but it doesn't, and it barely gets up there. Talk about cutting it close. Oh, gee, oh, shucks, it's too bad the leaderboard's broke. I would love to see how I'm doing on those. This one's called flexible. Is it relating to the bus? It might be relating to the fact that my only material that isn't road is spring. I kind of want to beat this level without spring. I got to get all the way up to this star. I legit want to make an all road bridge. I have no idea how high I'll need to go to hit the star, but I hope that will graze it. And then I will use road to build down to the rocks, ignoring springs entirely and just building off of these. And no, I'm not building a road for a submarine right now. I'm just trying to hug the rock so I can get a very solid support. The first step for a good road bridge is a solid road truss on the underside, of course. I'll leave it as an exercise for the viewer to figure out what would happen if I built the truss over the bridge. Below the truss, I'll have a secondary truss featuring the bridge's defining feature, a square. This will be on the test, so remember. Pentagons, on the other hand, those should probably be filled in, so I'm a get those braced. It's a shame auto triangulation doesn't work for roads. It's a shame this bridge doesn't hold. Actually, it might have been just though. This is a terrible bridge. Maybe then I will take the brakes and add in my only springs. If you flex, you will be replaced. This does not work. What if I fill in the square with an X? Yeah, sure, it may look like it's breaking now, but it's also actually breaking five seconds later. Well, that didn't do shit. And here we are, the elaborate process to get a perfect arc on the bridge. Step one, build a bridge. Step two, delete its supports, leaving behind a perfectly made arc. So a spring bridge isn't gonna automatically be better. I think the bottom needs to be reasonably compressed to, to basically press against the rock. I actually think I gotta have a support in every single little divot. And then I made everything else on the bottom 30% compressed. Let's see what happens. I love this game. What if I have a bunch of Swiss springs set to neutral? Well, the bridge doesn't look right, but it don't look wrong either. Wait, that's actually really good if it hits the star. Maybe I'll just hit it by sheer luck. Ugh, that was almost a great bridge. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna compress the top springs slightly. Hit it, you fuck. At least it made it. Okay, it's a little bit more compressed, but this road is really starting to be worn thin. I should probably like, get more roads, but it hit the star. Oh, is that gonna make it? That was not bad. That was a cool level, actually. I gotta say, I'm loving the level design here. What is this all about, though? A3 is not very fast, but it's still gotta make it to both of these stars, which are occupied by boats, and they all move at the same time. Well, that is strange. Its top speed isn't very fast, so I don't see a jump working well. But maybe the jump is still the answer, because I just gotta have the perfect arc to avoid the boat, and then perfectly catch on the other side. And I can just make a very tiny jump over this boat. Maybe just catch a little lower. It has no horsepower, so I don't really expect this to work. But maybe it will. So I figure having at least steel outer parts of the truss could at least help. I think this stability will be fine. The real issue is whether or not the bike can actually make it over these jumps. No, the stability is an issue, but it's more of a road issue. And I think I could just, yeah, reinforce these roads and then connect to here via rope. That might be enough, actually. Let's see, because it's building up speed. Oh, it made the jump. Oh, that was tight. Well, I just need to reinforce maybe just the middle roads because uh, any more and I'm over budget. Also, because I see that it has that speed, I could probably get rid of that little piece. Then I could probably raise up this road. I think this could work. All it kind of hinges on though, is it breaking or not the middle one? It broke a tiny little thing. And I think I accidentally deleted something here like a dumbass. But I did break a wood. Can I make it a steel? over budget. You know what? Then bring on the wood. I bet I could do a little wood here. I don't know if I bet I can. I didn't get rid of all the wood just because I feel that it might be necessary. Oh, well, look at that. Beautiful run. Here, let's take off the stress indicators. A nice cinematic angle at this as it builds up speed down the hill, surpassing its max speed and then doing radical stunts. 
I love jump levels. This one's called Spring Back. It includes a normal school bus that makes it to its normal flag, but a buggy which must first go back to the star and then over to its flag. So I literally gotta spring it back. The spring cannons are in the air. It's been so long since I've had to use these fully compressed springs to knock the buggy back, but it wasn't actually enough. Well, you know what? I could just make the springs longer so that way they have more room to expand. I could probably hit the buggy at a more favorable angle. Oh, beautiful. Please go. Uh, maybe, maybe a little too much. Come on. Oh, look at that. It's upright. And now we're ready to drive. So now I just gotta make bridges. In bridge game? Preposterous. Fine, I will use the fill tool. We're gonna actually have to use the same road right here. So I think it's gonna be a really fun design. Where all the supports are in the middle. And I'm pretty sure this light vehicle can just be held up with square supports. As long as all the strength is in the bottom. However, in order for that to work, I need to generate more strength from the bottom. As in, maybe putting in some under supports? That might work. Nope. And maybe it's because I have square lines here. But fine, new idea. I want to continue to make triangles, so I will just set up my roads in a way that the nodes will create triangles with the below parts. There, now everyone can be happy. Is this better? Oh yeah, better by a lot. It does still get a bit stressed on the left side, so I think I'll just keep messing around with that. Get a reinforced road there. Okay, this will work for sure. Now, the only thing is, is the top car going to tumble? Huh, I guess I hadn't thought about that. I have an idea. If I could use this road to help guide the car down, I figured I could maybe situate it in a way that props it up against the wall a little bit more. So it launches... And then, wait, wait, maybe that's better. Oh, that could work too. <laughs> yeah, just launch on its side. Perfect. Not even close to collapsing. Cool looking bridge. Let's watch this launch in slow motion. I think the extra road, actually, that I added helps knock it back. And it doesn't quite tip over, but it is really close to. And, but the fact that it doesn't is all that matters. Well done. The power of old engineering. They don't make those cars like they used to. This one seems like a crazy time. First of all, new car with a three on it. I wonder if a third thing is coming out anytime soon. And again, there's no turnarounds, but the car has idle on downhill, so maybe I'll actually be able to use that. So I have to go one, then two, then three, then the flag. So after I hit the stop sign, it'll be on this downward slope, and that's how I generate speed for the end of the level. But it doesn't build up that high of a speed, so I'm figuring I'll just give it a head start on this jump. That's a quality to look and jump right there. Definitely not overdone. If it can land right on the stop sign, then all I'll really need is just a nice arc of road. Clip the star. And then I could just use rope to dangle it from the hot air balloon, at least for a while. But if I do it attention under support, I haven't done one of those yet. This may look strange, but it is very often a legitimate way to hold up a bridge. It looks like it should just fall down, and if I've done it right, it won't. And it all depends on whether or not the car can actually make it to the stop sign. Oh, it is way too slow for that. So I need a catching ramp, it would seem. And then since it will be driving on this pier, I think it is going to need a little help to make it up to the... Uh, to the funny checkpoint. This is a lot of steel I added for just one road, but you know what? I'll let it sit. How's it do? It's the star. Slaughters the road. Oh, nope. That is sliding. Wait, but it might idle. It idles. Does it have the speed to get to the flag? Damn you, Isaac Newton. If only physics weren't the way that they are. Well, so clearly I just need like a two road catching mechanism. Because if the angle of the road matches the angle of the car, there will be less forces transferred onto the damn steel supports and they won't have to suffer. And actually that works a lot better. And I got a much better jump, much more speed in the rollback. Definitely makes it to the flag. What a cool level. I just want to comment that as it hits the wall, it has a nice, crisp, clean donk that honestly still preserves some of its previous speed, which does help make it up to the flag. It probably would have made it without, but I just wanted to point that fact out. Anyway, that's enough poly bridging for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've had a fun time with these levels. Great level design. Can't wait to see what's up next. Have a wonderful day and peace.